What's going on, folks? Welcome once again to another episode of uh, Lawn Care with Nino. Well, check this out. So right about now, it's about that time of year when we're going to be hitting the lawn with some more of our Grub Be Gone Max. Now, as you know, in about late April, early May, I hit it, hit the grass to try and control the grubs in the grass. Because, you know, gr grubs are very destruct destructive. And they uh, formulate a lot of uh, the... the, the the, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> that was a bee <laughs> hovering over my head. But anyway, so we're going to hit it again with some gr Grumpy Gone Max. And uh, we're going to be treating our grass. And again, this is more of a preventative measure than anything else. I don't currently have any grubs or I can't see it visually. But at the moment, you can imagine that all the larvas are going back into the ground. And this is the time to really hit it with the treatment to kill off those larvas. Okay. And get these things going. Now... Okay, so just to recap, in the spring, the grubs wake up and feed on the grass roots, later on become beetles. And in the summertime, the beetles feed on the plants in the garden, mature, then lay eggs in the lawn. And in the fall, the eggs hatch, feed on the grass roots, and the cycle starts all over again. We're gonna be getting rain uh, tonight as well as tomorrow, so in my opinion, it's a perfect time to do it. So it's gonna give it the uh, the granule an opportunity to soak into the soil into the ground and catch all those grubs that are hiding down there so here we go i'm just going to be putting it in my scott um, my scott spreader and i'm going to be spreading it throughout the grub. so i got my scott spreader closed at the moment i've got my bag of my grub be gone max so i'm just going to pour it in there I'm just going to pour enough. And I don't have to saturate this whole thing because it is a preventative measure. And this is something I do twice a year. I do it in the spring and I do it in the fall. And then what I do after this is I'm going to go through. I'm going to be overseeding my grass. And later on in the month, I'm going to be uh, laying down my fall fertilizer, which is going to put it to sleep for the winter. And let me tell you something. Come next spring, my grass is going to be popping. So right now, as you can imagine, there's a whole lot of information on the back of the uh, the Scott's Be Gone Max, and it tells you about how far you need to put your spreader apart to get your your granule to be spread evenly throughout your grass. Okay, you got to pay attention to this. As far as I'm concerned, I set mine at roughly about a three or a three and a half, and it gives now, me a nice little. Now, show the dial on the spreader. Where and you, so the dial where on this it. particular spreader, there's a dial right there. So right now, mine mine is showing at roughly three and a half okay so you can either go three or three and a half there you go all right so once you get that spread you just put your granule in the little uh, hopper and away you go start treating So right now I've laid down my uh, my grub killer. I'm also going to be laying down some quick, thick grass seed. It's got grass seed plus a bit of fertilizer in there. Okay, and that's going to help my grass add some thickness and some denseness to it. And what that's going to do, as you know, you know, you try to overseed in the fall and it chokes out any sort of weed that you'll have in there. I'm probably going to be overseeding it one other time as we lead on in. And then I'm going to be adding the winter fertilizer, which is going to be absolutely amazing. But for now, I'm going to be using my trusty dispensary scott's whiz it's the whiz it's the whiz and it's going to distribute this uh grass seed and fertilizer evenly throughout and we're going to have some nice thick lawn i'm about ready to get it on your toes
to it. So as a helpful tip, you can go ahead and mow your lawn as normal. Just try and limit the amount of activities. No playing or walking as such on the grass, just to give the uh, seedlets a chance to germinate, okay? So don't forget, these are helpful tips. So let's get going and let's get the grub treated and your grass fertilized.